Hey guys, crisis followers, this is Radmel from my virtual midlife crisis and I'm down here today in Ferndale riding in the uh, tour of the unknown coast. I'm going to ride the 100k tomorrow and uh, my number is uh, 617. Uh, I did, uh, let's see, 26.3 plus 12.8, so close to 40 today, not, not, not quite 40. Uh, left around the house around noon, rode down to Fortuna and had uh, a little carbo loading, you know, get, get some starches on board. And probably should have gone with pasta and stuff, but I went with potatoes and corn and things like that, more vegetable type things, and a little bit of protein, but mostly, mostly starches, trying to get myself in, in shape for the ride. And we uh, pitched the tent here at the Humboldt County Fairgrounds. I'm going to take a, a few more shots here, but I uh, had an interesting ride down um, in Fortuna as we were going into town. There was a night fight in the gas station. I didn't stop and take pictures. I probably should have. That would have been interesting. I have a funny feeling that this is going to turn out like crap because I, I, I can see the, the sun glinting off the, the lens of the camera. So I have a feeling that it's not going to be the most spectacular shots. But man, when I look that way, my the the sun is in my eyes. I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. <clears throat> so anyway, guys, um, this is a uh, I think this is the 30th annual of this thing. Uh, it's a pretty good ride. The the some of the rides are, are pretty awesome. The one goes uh, up the uh, through Panther Gap and uh, out to Point Mendocino. So uh, it's going to be some beautiful country tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go down to Honeydew and, and all kinds of cool places. Uh, after I got here and set up camp, I just took a little cruise through uh, the Victorian village of Ferndale, they call it, and uh, got some shots of some of the Victorian houses. Uh, I tell you, I'll be honest with you, the ones in, in uh, Eureka I think are more impressive, but that's just my personal opinion. Maybe it's just because I live there. Some kind of weird-ass bird in the background. I, I hope you guys can hear that, that strange little cuckoo in there, or hoo-hoo, maybe it's an owl, I don't know. But uh, I had kind of had a fun ride, uh, worked up a good sweat, stayed loose, but I never really got too tired. Uh, of course, there's only the one bad hill between here and there, so, you know, that kind of makes it a little easier. Anyway, guys, uh, let's take a little stroll around and I'll try and show you a bit of, of what's happening here. We already registered. I, I uh, did the late registration thing. And this is our little campground area. These are some of my neighbors. You know, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I appear to be everybody else drove in, so I'm like, you know, a bunch of weenie ass bitches, but what are you going to do? So, uh, but there are a lot of people camping out. They had a uh, $5,800 riding uh, like over there. In that little, uh, next to the little geodesic dome there, that's kind of cool. But, uh, a little, little ridiculous. So anyway guys, uh, this is, uh, what's going on here. This is our little camp area. I kind of picked the edge of the, the thing. I was hoping to get a little warmth from the sun, but, uh, the wind is, is kind of killing that for me. It's kind of a buzzkill. The ride down was calm, and that was nice. But, uh, once we kind of got here, once I got to Fortuna and had lunch, about, which was about 3 when I finished having lunch, and then on the way back up here, the wind kicked in. And that was, that's, well, what are you going to do, you know? The wind is the wind. People were saying uh, last year was horrible for wind. Uh, they're expecting 10 to 20 this year, but last year they got uh, something on the order of 35 to 40 miles an hour, so that kind of... If that happens, I won't be getting my patch. So, because I just, the, the wind kills me. Anyway, guys, uh, we're taking some more shots for you on the road, and uh, hopefully, we'll see something cool tomorrow. We'll be riding along the Eel River for a while. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. 